Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. It's a beautiful day, the crops are growing nicely, but we do also need to plant some new crops as well. So we have here the tract that I restored, well I say kind of restored, <laughs> uh, I just quickly wire brushed it and, and repainted it and then did a little bit of tinkering with the engine. But yeah, many of my viewers would like me to sell it and I think it's actually a really good idea. We don't need to have so many tractors around, so I'm going to pop this onto Zoom bit later, but first I think it'd be nice to actually use it. So, we're going to do a small amount of drilling with that tractor, and we're also going to use Dennis's old drill, just here. Which I really like, and it obviously brings back quite a few memories uh, from when we were starting off, it was all very slow, we had to use something like this. Uh, in fact, it was the same model. Same one. So, yeah, I think it's going to be good fun. So let's get that tractor started up. I'm really hoping we're not going to have any mechanical issues. We shouldn't do. We have plenty of seed just in here. So we'll get it refilled. And, uh, yeah, as for the things that are happening over at the other farm, over at the cow farm, it's all going well. We will have another TB test in the future. Right, let's get this thing fired up. It's actually quite fun to drive. These sort of things are very fun, and obviously it's got a very sort of old-fashioned style cab. Okay, back up to that. Lovely, it seems to have worked. The three-point hitch works without any issues at all. And then, yeah, the capacity of this thing is tiny. It really doesn't take much seed. I think I'm probably going to have to go to the other side of the tree. So I was having a flick through Dennis's diary. If you remember back, I was actually given Dennis's diary. And there are some incredible stories in there. He really did not like his employer. I think we already knew that, though. In fact, we visited his employer's farm. The place where we got the 135 from, uh, the one which was lurking behind the bales. Now, I was actually told um, that that farm wasn't going to be sold, but I've actually noticed that it has been put on the market. I don't know how much land it comes with, but it might be interesting to take another look at it. Okay, right, we'll fill the power of this tractor. There we go. Actually, it's not bad acceleration. Yeah, so we know the yard, we know the yard area, it's very run down. Um, it's nice though, it's a nice place. I don't think it comes with too much land, in fact I think most of them are sold off. It's just whatever is directly uh, in the vicinity of the yard. Okay, so yeah, I actually fertilised this in the previous vlog. Done nothing with it since, but it's all good. Go away crows or whatever you are away. Um, I think we're just going to put a nice spring barley in here. And then we have the other field, the new field over at the cow farm. I think we'll probably put some spring barley in there as well. Or we could put maize in. Because maize is just so amazing. <laughs> Sorry, that was a rubbish joke. Laughing at my own jokes again. Although, to be fair, it might not have been me that thought of that initially. <laughs> uh, well, it's sort of a predictable joke. Yeah, so there is something really fun about using old small machinery. You might not get the field done quickly, but it's satisfying. It's, there's something about it. It's just fun. So I'll continue until we've, we've completed the whole field, which really shouldn't take too long, even though it is a very small drill. As for the bigger field which I created, yeah, it would take forever to use this. So I think we'll either get a planter to put maize in, like I said, or we'll just get a bigger drill to just continue with the spring barley. It's always the same with these older tractors because it, it's just the way it's all set up, it's all old. Uh, it, you've got to do a lot of turning of the wheel. A lot of correcting. No GPS, of course. It's all part of the fun. So, yeah, we're getting through the uh, seed at a fairly good rate. I think we'll have plenty, though. More than enough for this field. 
we've got the uh, manure on here so it's gonna be a good crop a very good crop but yeah I think later I would love to go over to this other farm which is near to Letton and we'll just look at it again see the price and stuff see what's included and then we can think about whether or not we want to buy it but it is interesting and obviously memories it will bring back memories it would have brought back memories for Dennis I should say although maybe not the best memories ever I think from reading the uh, the diary he liked working there but he didn't really get on too well with the employer so yeah I don't know he must have just liked the tractors and the land and stuff That's been really good. No issues at all. Very reliable. Although it was a very quick test, really. Uh, so we'll just finish that little piece and then we'll take a photo of it so I can put it as an advert on Zoombid. I don't really know what it's worth. £5,000? Is that a bit much? I don't know. I suppose I could always just try it at 5000 See if it sells. If it doesn't, I can reduce the price. Or maybe I'm not high enough. I have no idea what it's worth. Okay, so as we're at the chicken farm, let's take a look at them. I'm hoping I can actually sell some eggs today. We should be able to. And yeah, we're probably going to have to mow in there again soon. Okay, lovely. Some broken eggs. I can't fit any more in. It's full. This crate is full. So yes, we're going to be selling some today. Pop that down there. We'll get another crate from over here. Where did I put them? There they are. Lurking in between the bales. So yeah, if I was to buy into the farm, would we sell this farm? Or would we, would we sell a section of this farm? Because we would have the opportunity to really grow. And we could build our own house. We could do everything. Okay, lovely. Good. So um, yeah, very happy with the progress from the chickens. Make sure I can get out. We'll come back for that very, very soon. Put it in the shade. Uh, but yeah, I need to do a photograph of the tractor. So I think we're sure stand. Yeah, probably okay just there. Good. Yeah, so as I said, we do need to do the other field. But I'm not going to use this tractor. We've given it a good test. Seems very nice. But we do need to use our other blue tractor, the New Holland. We can get it done very quickly. I will just park it back in here. I'll take the drill off. But we'll keep the tractor in place. There we go. Good. Yes, it's been great. I'm pleased that I restored it. And it didn't cost too much. So it was well worth it. Okay, so there's the other drill. There's our new Holland. I think, yeah, we won't bother with maize. As the future is currently uncertain, we may be moving. Uh, so, yes, what I'll do is I'll just drop that off. And then we can attach to it. And then... I don't know if I should sell the eggs first. I do need to make a phone call just to make sure they're happy to buy them. They might be inundated with eggs. Okay, just put it here. It's not in the way of the gate. I wouldn't have thought they'd have an issue though, because it's not that many eggs. I 
do still have the push mower in the uh, in the pickup truck. Right, so we are ready. We have barley. I think what I'll do is I'll stop off at the house. I'll make the phone call. If they're happy, then I can take the mower up to the chickens so we can mow the grass there another time and then we can put the eggs in the back. As for the offer to work for the big farm, I said yes, but I haven't had a response. They didn't acknowledge my response, so I'm not too sure if they've had second thoughts. We'll have to see. There's Dogwin. Don't want to run over Dogwin. Good. Okay, so I'll quickly make the phone call. Phone number's inside. Ugh. Tripping over Dennis the cat again. Honestly, he sits on that mat continuously. But yeah, the egg's absolutely fine. We'll head up there. We'll take the mower out and we'll put the eggs in. And this should be excellent. Feel the power. Yeah, it's a good pickup. Again, we got it from Dennis. Resprayed it. Feels like a long time ago now. Okay, we'll just leave that there for now. We'll be back to it later. Now, this is quite a fragile cargo. I have to put a strap over it. Let's just see where the best place is. That should be fine. The people buying the eggs aren't too far from here. It's actually the farmer's market. A very fitting place to be buying them. Okay. Past the fuel station. And then it's on our right hand side. I think it might be this place. I might have missed the entrance. just see here. Yeah, I think this is the place. Might have to go and find somebody. I've never been here before. Sprouts Farmer's Market, that's the place. Um, okay, I'll see you in a second. Oh. Very heavy. It adds up. Yeah, they said just put it over here. So that's what I'll do. And then we get paid. A good amount of money. Very good amount of money. And we can have the box back. Or the crate. I probably didn't need to buy so many, but yeah. Doesn't really matter, they're pretty cheap. So we'll head back to the farm. We can now drill the field. We'll check upon the cows, but they're absolutely fine because I've already been with them. Is that another entrance? I think I might have already missed an entrance. Yes, I went straight past it, uh, but that doesn't really matter. We went the scenic route. Hmm, they buy eggs too. Well, not mine. Trees are looking healthy. Dennis's tree, Ives' tree. That one's growing very nicely. Okay, let's get this barley in the ground.
we're almost there. It's actually quite surprising, this tractor seems to struggle with this particular drill. It can do it, but it's not, it's not that happy about it. We could certainly benefit from a bit more horsepower. But, yep, the job is almost done. Looking good. Uh, so yeah, I noticed there is actually a bit of manure left in the cow's enclosure. We'll just use the skid steer very quickly to get that out of there. We'll put it into the muck spreader. Although the muck spreader isn't mine, I am keeping a hold of it for now. We are paying a small fee, a small weekly fee, to keep it here. It's very cheap. I think it's worthwhile. We'll probably spread it on some grassland. Okay, there we go. I'll leave myself enough space to get into there, to tip it into the trailer, into the muck spreader. As you can see, it's probably only one or two bucket loads. But it's always best that we tidy the place up. And actually, I think I probably will uh, shred some more straw once I've done this. always good to keep them well bedded. Uh, I did the water this morning, the food is already fine, but yeah very soon we'll have to bring some more feed across. Uh, I think it would be a, a good idea as well to get that shed sorted out. I want to get a storage shed put up to keep the bells in. So money is an issue. I think probably if we if we want to buy into the farm I do need to sell my existing farm but not necessarily this area. We'll most likely keep this particular farm here. If it's good enough, we could sell the yard and the chicken field. Attach into the full load. So there we go, another job done. We won't be spreading that today. But as soon as we need it, we'll get it put on the land. So that, they've got some straw, but not really enough. I think probably, I will actually use the 390T. Oh, hard to get to this PTO shaft. There we go. We'll just get it pulled forward. You can shred a load more. You can see their food piled up on each side. We should have enough in this bell, I'm hoping. Get it fired over there. There we go. Good. Lots of fresh bedding. So let's head off. What we'll do is we'll take the new Holland and the drill back and we'll jump into the pickup truck and we'll head over to the other farm. When I say the other farm, I mean the farm which is for sale. Not my farm, although it might be my farm in the near future. There we go. We'll park it there. I'm going to have some food before we head off. I should probably close all these shed doors. Although I've never had any issues. Never had anybody snooping here. It's been good. Right, yeah, so food first and then into the pickup. And I'll probably see you over there. We're almost there. I just need to remind myself exactly where it is. I think it is this place here yeah rings a bell very overgrown we we'll have to do a bit of work here and uh, maybe even put a new entrance in wow it is overgrown um, so it looks pretty similar without the uh, the 135 
So, the question is, do we want to buy it? It's £50,000 for the yard, and it says there is some land. I don't know which land it is. I'm guessing it's the grassland through there. There might be another field as well. I'm not too sure. Uh, but the thing is, it says there is a, a good chance of getting a planning application approved to put a house up. So we could maybe put a house up over here. It seems like quite a nice place. We've got a woodland here as well. So, yeah, it's like a... Well, I guess it feels like a retirement place. It's not the uh, intention, though. We're not retiring. But, I don't know. It, it includes this. So we could obviously sleep here if we had to sell the other farm. Keep the cow farm. Oh, this is where the chickens were. They've gone. Hopefully they weren't just abandoned. Hopefully they were moved. Rescued. So, yeah. Up for sale. Do we buy it? That is the question. I'll just very quickly run back here and see the grass field, which I think is included. It really is overgrown. Okay, so yeah, if that's included, that's pretty good. It might even be including some of those fields over there. Got quite a few. It's a nice place. It's really quiet. It's more open. Definitely more open than the place where we are now. More similar to Letton. Letton's only down the road, so it makes sense. Um, right, so yeah, there we go. Should we consider buying this place and moving here? What should Dagwin do? You decide. <laughs>